Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 to 6. So far in the book of Ephesians, Paul has been writing about God's plan and his work in Jesus Christ. When we trust in Jesus, we are saved and reconciled to him. We are made new. We also become unified. That means joined together with other believers in the church. For the Jewish believers, the church was a new thing. But this new thing was an important part of God's plan. He created the church to show himself to the world. Being part of a church is pretty special. Today's passage begins chapter 4, and Paul's writing takes a twist. Paul now begins teaching us how to act and live in unity in the church. This is the application part of the book. In the passage ahead, Paul shares several commands from God and how we should live in this new special calling. Before we read, let's pray and ask God to teach us how to obey him. Father God, I am just so thankful for your word, Lord, that you have given us instructions and in how we are supposed to live for you and how to live with one another, Lord. Please, as we read this word, I pray that you would open our hearts and minds and you would bless it, Lord, and that we take something that we can live every single day in it. In Jesus' name, amen. Read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 4, verse 1. As a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. What is God saying to you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again. Then write down in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.